Hey guys, this is welcome to beer tour in Seoul. This is John and today I brought another beer from the Playground Brewery in South Korea, the Big Swing Lager. In the previous video, I introduced a, another beer from the uh, same brewery, Big Slide IPA. Uh, this is different from the previous video. This is IPL, Indian Pale Lager. So before we get started on and explaining, taking a look at the taste of this beautiful beer. Uh, let's talk about the differences of IPA and IPL. And the only difference is that is one of them is IPA ale and this is IPL the lager. Well, in the previous video, I've introduced the Big Slide IPA. In IPA beers, the obvious taste that you would look for in the IPA style beer is that strong hot flavors and bitterness. And in Indian pale lager, um, since it's a lager type, it would have a characteristic of a crispiness, dry finish. It also has that hot flavor as well. Um, so you would say that it's an IPL is like an IPA, but it has been modified into a lager type, bringing that crispiness and dry finish, which gives entirely an easy to drink characteristic of a beer. So what exactly differentiate these two is that um, they are different in the fermentation processes. IPA uses the clean ale strain during the fermentation processes at 68 to 72 Fahrenheit. IPL will use the lager yeast which the fermentation processes take at 50 to 55 Fahrenheit. So that's basically the uh, differences of the, uh, the IPL and IPA. Now let's take a look at today's beer, the Super Swing Lager by Playground Brewery. So of course the Playground Brewery, their beer level, uh, they would like to put amusement park theme, the playground images on, as their, uh, I guess, a logo. It's too big for a logo. It's, let's just say a picture. Their purpose of having a amusement park theme in the level is because they want to have their beer to be as, you know, like playground for the adults. So we could, as an adult, we could, we could think about the memories well back in the childhood when we had too much fun with our friends. We, we would be reminiscing uh, those memories and having a sip by sip of these beers to be enjoyable just like we had fun in the past memories in the past. Now let's take a look at the colors and the aroma. There we go. For a lager, the color is, is something that you can't find in a regular lager. It's a, it's a stale gold color. The foams are accumulated quickly, but at the same time, it's vanishing away quickly as well. The aroma. The alcohol is 4.8% this beer. And I smell that hop as it states that IPL would have a similar characteristic. Just like an IPA, the strong a hop aroma flavors, but it's turned into a lager. The hint of crispiness, something that we're looking for when drinking the IPL. There's a tangerine, the orange aroma, uh, the tropical fruit is a word that we normally describe these kind of aromas. And there is a slow but dense honey aroma approaching very slowly at the, at the end. And for the taste. So as IPL is a lager, and they would still carry that characteristic from the IPA. But since this is this has been used, I mean, this has been fermented using the uh, lager yeast. Definitely, there's a crispiness. It has a dry finish, very easy to drink, and you can also find that the refreshingness and the fresh taste, and also sweet. So there is slightly tingling from that bitterness, from that strong hop, but there is that barrier, the layer of a sweetness just sinks down on your palate and as you drink it and allow it to throw in through your throat, down to your stream, there is definitely that 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 that, 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 that condensed kind of honey-like sweetness in this big swing lager. It's tasty. Well some people say that it's light beer to drink, but uh this is definitely an entry level, uh, easy, to, easy to drink beer, but I wouldn't describe mm -hmm. it as a light beer because I feel some little bit of body in here. In the end, we all have a different way to taste food, drinks, and etc. For me, uh, there is a, definitely a body in here. 
So I wouldn't describe it as a light beer, but instead the opposite. So when we define the differences between the IPA and the IPL, uh, basically IPL carries that IPA characteristic and has turned it into or combined with the lager characteristic. But for this big slide, uh, for this big swing lager, I would say that the hop, the strong hop characteristic from the IPA has turned down to a mild stage and that tons of other flavors such as the tangerine, orange and tropical has been input and that whole flavor from the tropical is covering up the hop and hop is just in the mild move in the middle, the mild level and the sweetness just carries on towards the end taste. And definitely is something that I would say it's well balanced as the name suggests it, name suggests, suggests it, uh, the super swing lager. Kind of gives you that big swing in your mouth as well. The palate is just moving around with, you know, having so much fun in the mouth it's with the sweetness and so much tropical fruitness here. And at the same time, you can enjoy the hotness from the IPA and the mild stage level. So there's a lot of things going on. So the brewery name, of course, is the playground. And when you go to the park and you see the playground, playgrounds, or if you go to the amusement park, you see a lot of kids just running around and there's something going on here and there and just over there and people are just screaming, going down the roller coaster and, you know, having fun. That's exactly how they managed to pull off, you know, their name and their beer. It's perfectly matches. So as you sip down the, 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 this beer, your mouth, there's a lot of things going on, you know, like hop, sweetness, crispiness, freshness, and there is freshness. And there is orange and tangerine, the tropical fruit going on inside the mouth. There's whole amusement, whole a lot, the whole amusement park is just going in my mouth and having so much fun. It's enjoyable beer. It is, it is, it is, it is definitely enjoyable beer. Yes. One more. It's tasty. I love how this beer allows me to feel that sweetness, almost as if just drinking down a, a liquid white honey to kind of easy off that strong hotness and that bitterness. And at the same time, it's easy to drink beer, so the crispiness, yes, so much fun, so much fun. So the food pairing for this type of beer, um, there is a mild, but supposed to have an IPA characteristic, right? This IPL beer, uh, for the food pairing, this beer, I would say it's sweet. And there's a little bit of aroma uh, from the hop. I would say the spicy food would definitely go well with this because as you condense, as you accumulate the spiciness from the food, you would need something to drink, right? And sweet drinks will cool, easily cool off that spice inside the mouth. So your palate will be recovered, right? So I say this Super Swing Lager by Playground Brewery. The sweetness of this lager will definitely go well with the spicy food. Uh, if I be more specific in Korean food, I would definitely go for a spicy rice cake and spicy chicken. Uh, if I go more backward and a uh, little bit of general idea of the food, then uh, ribs, of course, the spicy ribs. Other than the spicy food, I would say something like because it has a hot flavor and it has that little bit of a bitterness as well and that, that refreshingness is definitely one best characteristic of the IPL, the lager of course so I would say some oily food, some, something like a hamburgers maybe a... yeah, hamburgers yeah when I need to order some McDonald's anyways, see overall the score that I'll get to this beautiful beer, the big Swing Lager by Playground Brewery in South Korea is 3.9 out of 5. It definitely has been a one of the finest beer that I had in Korea. Um, it's so much fun. How, like I said, there's so much going on in your mouth. You know, there is definitely a mild characteristics from IPA. They pull that and added the lager characteristic, the crispiness and that malts, uh, nutty aromas and dry finish. But although this is a very enjoyable beer, and they put ha they had put their idea of these amusement park going in your mouth and a lot of things going on in the taste. However, it gets me kind of confusing. You know, uh, when I drink beer, I would like to focus on one characteristic that stands out, so that I would definitely be thinking and knowing what I'm drinking. It's just that. Too much fun, too much flavors, there's a lot of taste going on, which is a good thing, 
it's enjoyable, yes. But for me personally, uh, there's just I think this this is too you know too busy. I would say. Uh, I think the word busy would describe my steak because inside the mouth there's too much too much things going on. But in the end, it's, it is enjoyable beer, and I would definitely recommend to the people who haven't tried it. I love how this sweetness just kind of puts that barrier and coats around your palate so that you won't feel too much of the bitter or the aroma from the hop which it which makes it so much easier for entry level beginners to drink of. So anyways, 3.9 out of 5. Well, thank you guys for watching my video. Today I have introduced you the Big Swing Lager. It's very enjoyable. It's like putting whole amusement park in your mouth, which is very interesting. Uh, thank you for watching my video and please don't forget to sub uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and I will come back with a more interesting beer. Uh, there are a lot to go in South Korea and your support will definitely help me. This was Howl and please do support stop the hate against Asians and please do subscribe to my channel and let's fight this pandemic over together. Bye now.